Hey everybody, Steve the Average Gamer back playing another mission in Star Realms, the campaign. I am playing this on Steam. Let's hop back into the campaign. Last time we left off, we were in Chapter 3, Betrayed. We got through the ambush, and now we're on Mission 17, Frontier Fleet. I've got the volume up so you can hear. I'm going to be quiet so we can hear the briefing. The fleet you just defeated seemed too well organized to be random raiders. But the few survivors you captured don't seem to know anything. After long months of campaigning, your forces just want to go home. Yet all communications with the capital have failed, perhaps as a result of the storm. As you enter the nearest outer system, you're greeted by the New Frontier fleet. Only they seem to be moving into attack position. Clearly... There is something very disturbing going on in your Star Realm. Before you can find out what it is, you'll need to defeat this frontier fleet gone rogue. Show these traitors the error of their ways. Alright, and if you remember from the earlier missions, I believe it was in Chapter 1, the player is in charge of the frontier fleets. So, <clears throat> you've risen up through the ranks, you're now in command of a nice, glorious fleet, and now you got the new guy trying to kill you. Just one of those days of the office, isn't it? Alright, rules to advance, standard. This game wants you to have outposts. This mission wants you to have a lot of outposts in play. Two, three, and five outposts is the objective. Let's get into it. Alright, and now we actually have some gambits showing up. I was expecting these to be in the last mission, but here they are. This is the Frontier Fleet Gambit. Each turn, gain one attack. Now, if you pick up the Gambit expansion for the game, this doesn't get shuffled into your deck. This is separate, and you deal these out one or two to a player before the game starts. You can reveal what they are or keep them face down, but it's just a little thing to help move the game along and give it a little bit of a twist as you go on through. I got nothing to really go with. I have my two Vipers plus the one from that. Oh, let's see what he has for uh, Fleet, because I've taken... I've already taken a ton of damage. No, okay, because I started off at 50. That's what happened there. Okay, Stealth Needle, fine and dandy. I'll come back to it if it's available. Because mainly every time I go for the Stealth Needle, bad things happen. The Breeding Site, that was the card I was looking for. If you played a base this turn, including this one, gain 5 attack. This is one of the four promo bases that... Well, it's, it's a base in the promo pack. That actually is a better way to explain it than what I tried saying at the beginning. So, Starbase Omega lets you draw a card. The Star Market gives you 5 authority or 3 trade. And Fortress Oblivion, the machine called one, lets you scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. Right now, I got some hefty do to bind to do. Okay. Um, I don't have any blob units, although a mothership would be quite nice. Um, I'm gonna have five, I'm gonna have as much as six. That's the max I'm gonna get my next turn. Hmm. Have again. There we go. Okay, he did buy the Stealth Needle. Trying to figure out where to go with this one. Um, he's a, he doesn't have anything that's going to let him scrap, so I'm going to be able to get in on the next turn. It almost makes sense to go for the Mothership, because assuming I get a 2-2 two and two mix, I'm going to be able to get the Blob Destroyer next time around. So I'm going to do that. A little bit of a gamble. Oh, come the hell on. Okay, two, four, I'm going to go for the Battle Screecher just because it lets me scrap everything in the trade row if I so choose, and I will so choose. Okay, gave himself four health with the needle there. Hmm. Okay, let's go for the Recycling Station. Let's go for the Blob Fighter and also Explorer. Let's scrap these guys. Get him back down in health. I'm not looking too good in this one. Things got to think. Card or the cards are gonna have to start coming out my way. 
Um, patrol mech is pretty good, actually, so I'll get him. And I'm just going to scrap all the things. Let's, uh, let's see what new stuff comes out. Do, 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 do. All right, there's Fortress Oblivion that I was talking about earlier in this play. Um, I'm actually going to take out the breeding site. It's, uh, it's five attack if he brings out that card. So, ooh, I got three cards. Three extra cards coming to me. Bring them on. Um, let me put this as a trade. Put him there. Get a frigate. There's the Mega Hauler. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to stop real quick. I'm going to talk about this card. This is a promo card for the Trade Federation. And for me, it is... I beeline to this card every single time because of what it does. Five authority every time you play it. Also lets you acquire any ship without paying its cost and put it on top of your deck. So if a command ship comes out, if the arc comes out, even if that mothership that I played at the beginning of this turn comes out, I can buy it without paying the eight trade or seven trade or whatever trade for that ship, put it right on top of the deck. If you're going heavy on Trade Federation, you can draw that card in and put it right into play. It is a phenomenal card that just me talking about it, I know the bad I know the betrayers are going to scrap it, so I can't get my hands on it. Oh my god, and the freaking command ship is out too. This is so terrible. This is bad for me. This is really bad. Okay, okay, this command ship got scrapped. Wow. I'm dead, but uh, on the plus side, I can afford the Mega Hauler. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead three ways from Sunday, folks. Like I said, this one had to go exactly my way, and it did not. Um, Let's not do that. Let's do that. Three. Let's get another frigate, because nothing else is really worth it. Beep, 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 beep. Wow, that was a whole machine call. I just realized that. Doesn't really matter because I have three authority. And yeah, the base is out and I've got five. The Mega Hauler, I could buy the Blob Carrier without paying for it. That is how good that card is. All right, let's take another run at this guy, see if we can do better this time through. All right, he's going to deal damage to me. Let's get the Trade Pod. Grab an Explorer. The Merc Cruiser, this is another one. I mentioned the Merc Cruiser in the companion video talking about the new cards that have been added to the game in the app update, this one lets you pick a faction and just play as that faction for the turn. So if I have a machine cult card that gives me extra attack and I don't have any other machine cult cards in play, I can play as machine cult this turn or blob or whatever. And when this card comes into play, you'll see it actually have different colors in the background. That was one of the updates that they did. It's actually kind of a good update. But for now, I'm actually going to go get the Battle Screecher because this one does oh so much damage and is a pain every time I run up against it when I'm playing the game personally. Now I'll get the Merc Cruiser. Not, it's not a bad card. Five attack or three trade. So actually works fairly well. All right, three, four, five, six, seven... Um, the Ark is a good one to go for, so is the Missile Mech, so is the Blob Carrier. What does he have base-wise? He has two bases. I'm gonna go for the Blob Carrier. I'm gonna just roll the dice, see if he'll come up in the next turn with the Battle Screecher. It does! Okay. This is where it gets fun. So, I'm gonna go for the Missile Mech, and I'm gonna keep the Ark in play. I'll scrap those three. Acquire any ship without paying its cost. Put it on top of your deck. I'm going to grab the Missile Mech. You just saw it spin over. I'll grab the Stealth Needle too. Why the hell not? It did oh so well for the, for the bad guy last turn. And perfect. I can explain the Merc Cruiser right now as well. So the Missile Mech lets me destroy a target base. There are none. Now the Merc Cruiser, you get the option... Do I want it to be Trade Federation, Blob, Machine Cult, or Star Empire? Note the different backgrounds. I'm going to go Machine Cult because now this guy's ability activates. I get to draw another card. Let's go for some authority here. Um, how many other bases do I have? I have no other bases. 
I'll go for the barter world. Let's see how that one plays out. <clears throat> All right, so I'm only getting three by next turn. Looking at my FPS is dropping again. It's a day that ends in Y, so of course. Not really going for the achievements on this one, you can tell, just because the bases really don't jump out at me and say, oh, this is a good base to get, but I'll go ahead and get Fortress Oblivion. Actually, I can get all of them. I can get both those bases. Uh, scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. I'm leaving the Ark because I want to get that one um, another way. Get that one. M2. Now, remember the achievements, you have to have them in play, which means they have to be coming out at the same time. So let's play these guys. I have my ally ability activating on this one. I'm gonna go for this, just so I can get the flagship. And I'll make it a Trade Federation card. So you see it spin around. It's now a blue card, even though when you click on it, it's just gray. Um, I'll keep the health around for that guy. And, oh, here we go. All right, he did take out the arc, which eh, I was kind of interested in. Target opponent discards, does this, does this. I'm leaving the missile mech out for the moment. Use combat. Now, destroy target base without spending a dime on it. We'll do this. The mission has been won. I've got my nine attack here, so I'm just doing this just to do it. Good night, Gracie. I did not have any outposts in play, so I didn't get any achievements, but we made it past the Frontier Fleet. Feels kind of good. Now I gotta figure out who sent the Frontier Fleet and why they were trying to attack me. Guess that's gonna have to come in the next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I shall see you all later.